Madugu na madada. What's up? How you guys doing? Gosh, I don't know why I have so much energy. And the weather, the weather is misbehaving. The weather is acting like it doesn't know we're in September. Because it's cold. Ay, motherau. What's up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Bridget. If you are a returning delegate, Welcome back to the delegation squad. If you are new here, a new subscriber, welcome. We appreciate you. Thank you for coming back. As always, you know the drill, okay? If you've not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and do so. So today's video is a highly requested one. I'm doing a story time. And this one is going to be the day I thought I was a stylist. And then it flopped. So this is more of an embarrassment story. Now let's get into the story time. Where do I start? First of all, this happened to me when I was in class three. We had gone for a camp. When we were in class three is when like the school would allow each class to like start going for camps. So we would go the entire class, basically. So we go from Friday, Friday evening and leave on Sunday. It was one venue for everyone in the school. So we knew where we would be going most of the time, like for camps. When we were told we were going for a camp, everyone got a packing list. Obviously, all of us were excited. The idea of it was exciting. So all of us got a packing list of the things we were supposed to bring and the things we weren't supposed to bring. Okay, not the things we weren't supposed to. The things we were supposed to bring. So basically, the school would provide bed sheets and the mattress. So all you had to carry, I think, was a duvet, your clothes, obviously, your toiletries, uh, pajamas, uniform, the basic things and snacks. Obviously, a trip is not a trip without snacks. Who would go for a trip without snacks? Who? Where? In which planet? Not this one. I started packing like three days before because that's how excited I was. It was the topic of the class for that entire week. Everyone was looking forward to it. I remember I packed everything with my mom. So on this Packing list, there was one specific item known as Sunday attire, meaning what you'd wear going back home. So when me and my mom were packing it, we thought, we thought it was uniform. So me, I packed uniform. I didn't think of packing anything extra, you know, like anything, everything that was listed in the list. Like if it was two pairs of pajamas, I packed two. So we got to school on Friday and... Obviously, no one paid attention that day to class. Like, we are going somewhere. Why am I listening to the teacher? In fact, we didn't even understand why, why we were being taught. We got to around three. I think we used to leave, like, the premises of the school to go to the camping site at around three or two. So we left school. We got to the camping site. We unpacked everything. So this camping site, there were buildings, yeah. There were buildings like rentals or something that people hadn't moved into. Like it was an entire compound full of buildings. So everyone was assigned a building. We were sleeping like five, five in each room in the house. Each house had like four rooms. So as we were given the one at the corner, me and some of my friends, and we settled in and everything was fine. And we went for walks, nature walks. We went, we rode bikes for the entire camp period because the story time is on the Sunday. Like all the fun things you could think of people doing camps. We did all that. So anyway, that Sunday, we were woken up so that we leave, were supposed to leave the premises by 12. Yeah, by 12. And we were supposed to have a short Sunday service because the school I went to was Christian based. So we were supposed to have a short Sunday service. And then we leave to go back to school to be picked up by our parents or go home, whichever way you'll go home. That day we were waking up, we told to dress up. Now, me, ha, Sunday attire. What was my Sunday attire? School uniform. Me carried school uniform. And I was confident. So I wore my school uniform. And then the people I'm with, like my friends in the room, all of them had home clothes. And I'm like, okay. Wait, what is not happening here? Why is everybody else dressed in home clothes and I'm the only one in uniform? But in my head, I didn't, it didn't ring a bell. I was like, no, in fact, all of you are going to get into trouble because... What, what, what are you wearing? We were told to carry uniform. Like, where in that list did it say people can wear home clothes going home? Nowhere. So all of you are in trouble. So if I were you, I would change into uniform. I think I was convincing enough. I convinced them to put that uniform back on and since we hadn't seen other people and what they were wearing because all of us were dressing at the same time see we got out and then now when we're like all gathered together 
We found out only the five of us were wearing uniform. Aye. Everyone else, everyone was wearing home clothes. Na apa ndo nikajua ni kubaya. So they asked the chair to confirm like are they allowed to wear home clothes? And she said yes, that's what Sunday attire meant. Hey. Okay, oops. 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 I wanted to cry. I'm like, I like me, I thought Sunday attire meant uniform. Because which school says Sunday attire and doesn't mean uniform? Like, to call, as much as we are not at school, we are in a school event because there's teachers everywhere. What do you mean? Did you didn't mean uniform? Hey, like, you know, I'm na kuwa na jokes. You, you got jokes. I was angry. I was angry with myself for not even trying to carry extra clothes or sneak something that looks nice. Anyway, they went back to the room to change and me, I accompanied them because I was like, now I'm going to be left here. I'm the only one who's going to be left wearing uniform. I was like, no. The fashion designer in me is like, you know, never slow down. We can't be the only one who's odd one out here. No, we're going to look like everybody else. I had carried stockings. Actually, they were more of tights. They were pink tights. So I wore that. Uh, since I couldn't wear my school shoes and I would look weird, I decided to wear my rubber shoes, which were very dirty, but at the time I didn't care. Okay, I just wanted to fit in. I, d I just wanted to fit in. And I wore a really long vest. This is vest I used to have that was long, so it would pass on for a top dress. Let me call it that, a top dress. I just looks like a top. I was kind of frizzy and shiny. So all of us now are in home clothes. So me, I look at them, I'm like, Does my outfit look nice? These people had the audacity to lie to me and be like, yeah, oh my God, yes, you look nice. Wow, yeah, 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 let's go. We walked out. I was walking on clouds, yeah? Kim Kardashian could never. Gucci should come and hire me because I am their next model. Excuse, nobody can design clothes like me. Nobody can style clothes like me. I feel good. So good. The feeling unmatched and matched. I don't even think I've ever felt that confident in my life. We were just, you know, going to get our breakfast because we hadn't eaten. So breakfast was, I think, eggs, boiled eggs, bread, and tea. As we're walking to where the people are being served breakfast, I see people looking at me weirdly. When me in my head, I'm like, I look better than everybody else here. So like they're all jealous of my outfit. I sat with my roommates, like my friends, and we all ate breakfast, but people were still looking at me weirdly. I think one boy even asked me, what are you wearing? You're not feeling cold? That's the question. I'm like, no, honey, we freeze and shine, okay? A sweater would ruin my dream. I finished my breakfast. I walked back, like, to put my plate and everything. So one of the teachers called me to the side, and she was like, what you're wearing looks like you're not warm, so go and wear a sweater. I um, yeah, was like, it's okay, it's okay, you all have insisted that you want to see me in a sweater, so who am I to like deny you? Let me, let me go and wear a sweater. So I went back to the room, I got my Bible, and I wore the sweater. And I went to the room where the Sunday service was supposed to be performed. I was walking towards the room, and everybody else, all of us were walking towards that room. And obviously I'm still seeing people giving me weird stares. Leo, nini ni mbaya shuwadi? I chose to ignore them. So one of the teachers, the teacher in charge, let's call her... Miss Flower. Miss Flower was the one in charge of the entire camp. So she called me aside and she knew my name. She, I think, no, she called me the girl in the tights. The girl in the tights, please come. I know I'm the only one in tights because everybody else was wearing jeans. So I was like, my outfit is the only one that's unique here. Yeah. So I went and I thought she was going to send me for something. You know, the way when a child calls you, you expect they're sending you to go get something for them. So me stood there waiting to be like to hear. So she asked me my name, I told her. And she was like, okay, um, I know you think you look nice, but what are you wearing? The fact that she said, I know you think you look nice, that was enough to make me self-conscious. I was like, oh my God. So I started looking at myself, I was like, wait, is something that I'm wearing torn? Is it discolored? Did I sit on mud? Or I don't know. That was my first thought. After seeing and assessing myself and knowing that I was okay, I was like, ah, uh, what is wrong with my outfit? What is the problem? So she was like, ah, uh, you're exposed. What do you mean by I'm exposed? She looked at me and she was like, your tights are see-through. We can see everything you're wearing underneath.
the lord come and get your child because i'm ready to be taken from the earth i have never felt embarrassed like this there is no way i was walking around like that the entire morning thinking i look nice but this whole time i'm putting everything on display like i was walking around thinking i am it thinking i am the one i was walking around here feeling like a gucci model but i look like somebody should be collected from the streets because what is that ain't nobody got time for that and then the next people i went to question were my roommates because i asked you guys i asked you how do i look you told me i look nice why did you have to lie to me like that no what was the point why was it necessary i'm still in shock so i went back and i changed the sunny service went off properly i sat at the back the very back because there was no way i was going to show my face in front of other people this video should be the most embarrassing day of my life this is it so moral of this story when you try to fit in most of the time you end up embarrassing yourself so be you but anyway that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it uh give this video a huge thumbs up if you have not subscribed to my channel make sure you do let me get to 300 subscribers and if you don't follow me on my instagram please go ahead and do so i will see you guys in the next video bye